Hey everybody, this is Zentro and today I wanted to go over using the command prompt to call a program. What you're going to first want to do is go to, to open the command prompt, go to search if you're on Windows 8, or go to run if you're on Windows 7, and type in CMD. And your command prompt will pop open and click it on it and start it up and you should get this screen. If you're not getting the screen, type the CLS, which means clear screen, and click enter or in click CD to change your def default directory for example if I were to go to CD program files I would now get this directory and I can type in CD dot dot to go back to the original directory so as you seen before I typed in CD program files to go to the program files directory or folder on my computer. So now I'm on it. Now that you're on it, you can type in dir to go to the directory of all of the files that are in, or all of the files that are in the program files folder. Once you're here, you can type in cd and any program such as Internet Explorer, and you'll get that directory as the directory that is currently um, on here as the default. Once you get that, you can type in the directory of that to get all of the files in that folder. And then using the .exe file or the um, program launch file, which for Internet Explorer, I know is iExplorer.exe, we can do cd iExplorer.exe, click enter. Or actually, without the C uh, D, type in the name of the directory. So once you're in, so once you're in the program that you want to pull up with the um, with the shortcut or the .exe file, just type that in. Don't type in the C D, and that's how you'll bring up the program. And again, we can go back by typing in cd dot dot, and then go to the directory of the program files again to type in a new one, such as Windows Photo Viewer. And then type in the directory of that. And then imaging devices. Uh, exe is the name of the exe file and here we go so this window would pop up this is the directory or the program that I just called I'm going to go ahead and close that go back to the default directory and I'm going to show you one more thing before I end this video is how to change the color so to change the color you're going to type in color Y and you'll be able to change the background color and the font color so the number right here or um, one or zero through seven is the background, and then or zero through nine is the background, and then A through F is the font color. So if you type in color and say we wanted the background to be blue and the font color to be light aqua, we would do one and then B. So color one B, and then that would change the color. And again, I can change that again to say white and purple. And there we go. So that's how you put, uh, change a program or pull up a program in the command prompt and also how you change the color of your text and background on the command prompt. If you want to watch any more videos on the command prompt, I also have more videos on it. Just go check them out and please like and subscribe and you guys have a great day.